wanted to try out something um, with the Perfect Pearl that uh, came in the Simon Says Stamp uh, January kit that I hadn't tried before but I had seen and I think um, it's got really beautiful results. And so I took um, one of the papers included and uh, used some Versamark to ink up the Winter Wishes sentiment. And just press that down and then got the perfect pearls here and literally um, put that down on the sentiment that was stamped with the verse mark and you can see how pretty that is. It is really shiny. And I can clean the brush off here and as I brush the excess away, I don't know if you can see how pretty that is, those winter wishes in white. That's really beautiful. And so I thought we could actually play around with some of the other stamps and um, build this up a little bit. I also have some Perfect Pearls actually in Perfect Pearl. And I think we'll try combining the two. Again, I'm inking it up with the first mark. And there's a snowflake in the corner of this paper, and I'm going to kind of make some others to frame that sentiment. And then take the perfect pearls. white and again do a similar thing with them. Wow. And then um, one thing that I did um, start, I whenever I use glitter I use a, a dust rag. You can use um, any one of those uh, Swiffer or that to uh, wipe some of the um, excess off. It looks a little bit like the purple mixed with the pearl. I want to wipe that off and then you can kind of see how that looks on there. It's really, really pretty sparkly. That led me to um, want to play with a background stamp, stamp and actually make a textured background for this that was sort of like the snowy background um, here. So I took um, the light gray card basil cardstock that was included in the kit. And I'm going to take this Hero Arts background stamp that looks like a little teeny, I don't know, raindrops or just dots or a pattern, but it feels very much like snow to me. And I'm going to ink up the stamp with Versamark. And then I am going to, actually with these big background stamps, it's always a really um, good idea to actually just place the paper on the background stamp. And this is the background of the card. So you see me rub it really well all around the edges. And then you can, I don't know if you can see this on camera or not, but it's got a very faint 
uh, almost like a watermark of that pattern. And that in itself is in an interesting thing to do. You can um, do that or you can certainly go to the next step, which I think I'm going to take the pur purple, perfect pearls, and I'm going to add it to that background. So it's going to stick to wherever that Versamark ink was, wherever that stamp landed. And I kind of go around in circles. One thing I did not... Um, figure out was when you're using the verse mark a lot of people do not actually um, wet the perfect pearls uh, afterwards and I know that it is supposed to set it if you wet it after um, you apply it and it will not come off um, I don't know um, I'll have to mess around with it a little bit more and get back to you guys on that, but it seems like it's pretty much stuck on there. Wow. So that, now you can see we have a glimmery, kind of snowy background. I can take my and now you can really see it. That's really cool. I love that. There we go. Oh yeah, that's really nice. So and now I hate to cover it up, <laughs> but it is a really nice background for that card. And then I think what we'll do is we'll do a really simple piece of um, ribbon or string. I have some really nice purple string here from American Crafts um, and let me just think about how I want that to go um, I wanted to put a tiny uh, little purple backer on that and so I'm going to trim uh, a piece of the basil purple cardstock that came with the kit out, and then I'm going to mount my winter wishes on that and I'm also going to add um, a little piece of twine uh, to this I want it to be very 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 thin because I love the background on the card so much that I don't want um, I don't want to really block any more of it with uh, the overlay with the panel so just enough to offset it make it pop there's that and then snip that and nice when you do it this way is that there is adhesive on the back so the bow is not going to move around the string is not going to move around we have that really beautiful sparkly background a uh, little card with our bow positioned where we want that down and now this time when we wiped with our hands the water had set the glossy the the perfect pearls and then I'm actually going to tighten that little bow up a little bit and add one more dot underneath right under the bow just to keep it exactly where I want it and 
and that's the January card kit card uh, from Simon Says Stamp.